On the remote north rim of the Grand Canyon sits stunning Grand Canyon Lodge. However, Grand Canyon Lodge as it exists today is not the one originally designed by master architect Gilbert Stanley Underwood. The first lodge was built entirely from limestone and timber local to the Kaibab Plateau. In its heyday, motor buses would take Union Pacific travelers from the train depot directly to the front door of this magnificent original lodge. When guests left the lodge, the lodge staff would gather outside for a musical farewell known as a sing-away. The original lodge had several unique architectural features that are not in existence today. A balcony atop the lodge's famous sunroom provided unimpeded views of the canyon. It featured a crowning second-story observation tower and dormitory. Indeed, the first Grand Canyon Lodge was a fleeting triumph. Built in 1928, it burned down just four years later. The blaze devoured every wooden element, no matter how small, leaving only blackened stone walls and pillars in its wake. Director of the National Park Service Horace Albright wrote to Union Pacific Railroad officials to encourage them to rebuild the lodge. It seemed a crime that this wonderful lodge had to be destroyed when there were fully a score of old lodges, hotels, government structures, etc., which we would have been rather pleased to have suffer a fate of this kind. I hope you will find it possible to rebuild the lodge at once, as your operation at the Grand Canyon was the outstanding tourist accommodation of the entire national park system. With that kind of high praise, the Union Pacific began to resurrect Underwood's Lodge. It rose from the ashes and reopened its doors in 1937. Changed some in form, but not in spirit. For reasons that are lost to history, Underwood was not involved in the rebuild. Fortunately, the rebuild did perpetuate the most powerful aspects of Underwood's design. At the same time that his building blends into the scenery, it also serves to veil the enormity of the canyon until the last breathtaking second. The stone and logs of the courtyard corral you so that you have to enter the building to get the view. Once inside, a series of blind corners delay visual gratification until, finally, the canyon is revealed through the enormous windows of the sunroom. As if by magic, wood and stone frame Mother Nature's grandeur in a way that somehow makes it even more picturesque from inside the lodge. Outside, two verandas, south and west, provide sweeping views of the canyon for visitors to enjoy. Almost as dramatic is the view from the dining room. Here, diners can watch the mood of the canyon change with the shifting angles of sunlight. What better place to enjoy a good meal and a glass of wine? Surrounding the lodge are the charming and historic deluxe cabins to spend a night or two perched right atop the North Rim. A variety of ranger programs educate, inspire, and entertain guests of all ages. You can learn about everything from majestic California condors to canyon geology and hear a multitude of Grand Canyon stories. In the evening, rangers give talks in the lodge auditorium. Grand Canyon Lodge is nestled in ponderosa pine and aspen forest. In autumn, the colors are vibrant. This is home to the Kaibab Squirrel. They're found here on the Kaibab Plateau and nowhere else. Out on the rim, you can follow the quarter-mile trail out to the end of Bright Angel Point for the thrill of being completely surrounded by canyon. For those with strong legs and lungs, hike down into the abyss on the North Kaibab Trail. But be sure to save your energy for the uphill return climb. 
Another way to experience the Kaibab Trail is on a mule trip led by wranglers who will take you down the trail and back on a more leisurely inside canyon experience. Grand Canyon Lodge. Like a jewel atop the canyon's crown, it sits worthy of its place on the edge of wonder.